Right then folks, back again. This is the video you all requested to see. What we're doing today is we're gonna be ripping all this flooring out because it's totally rotten out as you see in my last video. And I just had a feel on the wall here and I don't know if you can see this patch here. It's all wet there. All that, you can see where the paint's gone. All around there, that is wet to the touch where this is bone dry. So we're gonna to have to investigate. Obviously there's insulation behind here. So we need to work out if the leak's coming in from down here or at the top. It seems very dry at the top and there is a little bit of wet actually up there. So it's either coming in two ways on the top or it's in the bottom and the insulation is just sucking all the water which is trying to obviously dry it so the insulation is pulling all the water up the wall first of all we will be taking this unit out before we touch any of the floor we'll get this cleared see how wet that wall is going up to the top from the top of the corner i had a quick look up there it doesn't seem wet at the top so it'll be interesting to see what's actually behind this unit as well and i've been and picked up some uh, plier this morning i bought some more hardwood plier for the floor and i believe this is three three mil ply on these but we couldn't get three mil they only do 3.6 all around where where i live all, all the timber merchants only had 3.6 in so, so first of all i'm just going to get my drill out we're going to take all these phillips screws out which is holding this unit in and uh, we'll go from there so let's get the drill out and get this unit down right and so whoever has put this up uh, they obviously haven't had caps like this for all the screws around it so what they've actually done is they've stuck silicone on the head of the screws for some reason so as you can see i've just pulled that bit of silicone off there but yeah i'm not sure what the idea of that was so we'll just take them screws out and it's so much handier having one of these impact guns Right, so we're getting a bit loose there. So I need to be careful it don't drop on me. Oh, standing on that floor ain't very good. Let's just find the beam, just stand on the beam. Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance, this bloody, this blinking silicone. I think why they've put that in is to hold the little caps on. And obviously in the past, some of the caps have come off. Yeah, all these screws are different in here. Some of them are missing, all different lengths. So they're definitely not the originals. Oh yeah, that, that is really wet up there actually. Let me show you in now. I don't know if you can see the colour difference on the wall there. It actually comes right around there. So that could be our issue. It is really wet up there. In fact, I don't think you can see that. Let me, I can actually see water droplets on the roof there. There is actually drops of water on the roof. Now I wouldn't say that's uh, condensation because the rest of the roof is totally dry. But we have got drips up there so that could be the cause of the leak then up there. Because if, don't, if you remember in the hallway, I think this was on my dad's channel the other one, when we done the repair in the, kit, in the hallway there, um, the water was coming in through underneath the door because they had decking butted up to it with artificial grass on the previous owner done that and it was letting water in because the seal had gone through the bottom of the door and obviously that is where the water was coming in and damaged that but this looks like it's coming in from the top so we'll get it stripped back and then we might have to go outside and have a look out there so that's all the screws i can see now i'm not sure if there's any screws along the top there you would have thought there would be You'd like to think so. Let me just have a little wiggle on there. That's all the screws that I can see down here. All right, yeah, I need to just get myself a little stool. Hold on a minute. All right, so I've just got to be careful now where I place the stool. I've nicked Chris's footstool out of the living room. All right, there's actually no screws up here. Fix into the wall. So where's that fixed in then? Them two are out. Them two are out. So there's nothing in that cupboard. Nothing in the middle there. That one's loose. I 
them two are out. Oh, there's one up there. I thought I took that out. Or did I just take the... I think I just took the um, silicone off the head. I didn't take the actual screw out. Yeah, that one's loose. It just don't want to come out. So that should be it. Where's that floor base? Right, that's still stuck in there. Now I'm wondering if maybe it's just swelled in there or they've actually used some uh, sort of bond as well and stuck it to the wall. Because it is actually pulling away from the wall. There is a gap at the back now. I think it's just a tight fit. Yeah, there we go. Let's move that stool out of the way a minute. Yeah, I think that should uh, go. Get ready for the drop and stand back. Oh, something still seems tight there. I think where it's just uh, all the wood's got wet, I think it's all swollen. There's no screws behind there. Right, so as you can see, we've got the unit down now. Did have to uh, break this side off. It wasn't coming off, and this is the reason why, look. It's actually been stapled. I don't know how they've done this, but it's been stapled from the back of this wall. So I'm not sure how that's done that. Because I've had to pull the staples through the wall. And you can see on the back of there, that has been stapled so maybe this was original this uh, unit because I've never I can't see anyone going to the length of removing this panel to stapling that I reckon it's got to have been stapled when the outside of the van wasn't on so this must be a factory one but I'm not sure why it's full of all different size screws so something's been changed in the past I reckon this side was actually left on the wall and they'd obviously just undone the two-way blocks to take the rest of the unit off and just left that side wall mounted. But yeah, that is, that's ringing wet there. I don't know if you can see the, the wood is actually rolling up on my finger. That side seems dry, which is good. So it's something to do with this. We're gonna have to rip this uh, coving down here. That's no good now, it's all bowed. So it's going to have to come down that, so I'm going to have to get the old pry out. We'll pry that off and have a look behind that then. All right then guys, so what I did, just got the old multi-tool there, and you can see where the nails are. So I just went up behind the roofing coving and just uh, cut through them little tack nails, and that's actually released it, so we shouldn't have to uh, make any more damage there. So yeah. That's all wet all the way up to there. Look. So that's well and truly blown that has. So it does want replacing really. But it's uh, how far does Chris want to go with it? You could always put a different trim up there. You ain't got to go for that one again. And again, that's uh, rotten now. I don't think there's any pins holding me on that one. No. No. So what I might do is I'm just going to cut along here, I think, cut the bad out with this multi-tool. So I'm going to cut that out and I'll be back with you. Right, so I've cut through that. I just changed the battery on the GoPro as well because that uh, died there. Again, I've just cut along there with the multi-tool. Nice straight edge. So if that does need to go back up, you're not going to notice that. But I say I don't think... Uh, I'd advise putting that back up because it's not going to make a nice job of it. So, either way, you have to say you probably still get that rail in the your local shops that sell that sort of stuff. See that? None of this feels wet on this side, which I'm hoping we've got away without uh, 
damage in that, but this top bit is definitely uh, no good. So I have actually got a, a sheet that will replace this whole sheet if we need to go down that route. But what I'm gonna do, there's a stud behind here, is uh, I think I'm just gonna cut a sliver out of here along this stud and uh, we'll get that. Let's see if we can just manage it and if I can find the middle of the stud, we might get away with out replacing the whole sheet. We can just go along and then rejoin that on the stud. So I'm gonna do that now and uh, I'll come back to you when we've got a bit of progress. Right, so as you can see, I actually cut a little door here. Cause I say it's all coming out anyway, but I just wanted to see what was behind it because the actual beams, they're not running down, they're actually running across. So, so we'll just snap that bit off. And as you can see, it's polystyrene behind there, which is uh, good to see. And uh, cause you could, that will go again that, it's not like a, a wall insulation. But as you can see, that's soaking wet behind there. So what I'll do now is I'm just gonna carry on. I'm gonna cut the top bit out. I'll bring you back in when we get to, through to that bit. This bit's all dry along here. But I say we're still gonna have to cut back because we've got nothing to uh, join onto here. So this was just a little peak view basically. So I will cut along the top there. We'll get that out because we need to address this leak first before we go any further. Right guys, I've cut a wider a slot there now. And we've actually got a bit of a result there. Because if you can see that mark there, just above my finger, there's actually a batten there. So I've just stopped before the batten. And then when I get a straight edge, we're going to mark a nice straight line down the middle of that batten. And that'll be our joining point then. So we haven't got to take all this off and disturb that electrical switch there. So that's quite handy. But as you can see, I've took a, a square of that insulation out. And let's have a look what I've found. As you can see, this is soaking wet that. And there's a hole there as well, look, that's not going to help for starters. Although it's only a little hole, but that's not going to help. Uh, the wood is a bit a bit wet there, and the, but it is still solid. It's not crumbling away, so I think we'll probably get away with that for now. If it was any more worse than that, uh, it might be a bit of an issue. It'd uh, be the corner out of the van, but we're not there yet, so uh, a little dent there, I'll pop that back out. But... Definitely got a problem there. This half is not really condensated. It's all this half here. So I'm going to remove this top bit. I'll see if I can do that while we're on camera. I don't really want to break it. Bit of a polystyrene noise there. And then we can just slide it out of there. There we go. So we'll just pop that down there, sand it up so we don't tread on it. And there we go. You can see it's wet all the way along the top there. So that's where the water's coming in, it's, it's running down. So I think we're gonna have to head outside. I'm not sure if there's any ladders there though, because we're gonna need to see what the roof's like out there. And if it's got any seam sealer on it, we'll have to check that, maybe rip it all out and then put a nice new uh, bead of sealer on there because something's not right there. And that's where the issue is, obviously, you can see the water's coming in there and it's just running down. Obviously, you are gonna get condensation in these vans because that's what the tin, you're gonna get that with a tin van, but it shouldn't be to the extent where it's doing this sort of stuff. So we do need to go out there again I'm not sure what that's there. We'll have to plug that little hole up as well. So someone's obviously screwed something into the van there. So let's head outside and just quick take a look at the roof. Well, you have to bear the wind noise out here. But as you can see, this is a channel here. And the channel doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you. That looks all fine in that drain there. A little bit of moss, that ain't gonna uh, affect nothing. That's really a clean channel in there. Okay, there's that hole there that someone's obviously drilled. All right, so there is a, a little hole there in this tape here, so. So this looks like our problem here, look. Oh, there it is there, look. This tape's all give way on along here. 
and the water's obviously running in. You can't see it because of the sunlight in that crease there. That... So that's where the problem is. So we've got to address that. And the way we can do that is I think I might get some pliers, just peel that bit of metal back there. We'll fill it with some uh, sealant and then we'll tap that back round and we'll sit, reseal that again. And I think Chris has actually got some tape to uh, redo this and that's, that's going to be needed to be done. So that's going to be our, our job. That's the cause of the leak there, definitely. And it's a bit hard to see. So there's nothing we can do with that for the minute because I've got no sealant here, but I've got to just push that back down. So now we have found our issue. It is obviously coming in from this back corner right here. And that obviously proves point because all that wood is all black down there. But I say it is, it is still solid. So there's no need to uh, worry about that. And I say this is this side still dry. Nothing wrong with that side at all. Still dry. So. I don't think I'm gonna bother messing about with this wall. Although I probably could, because I'll probably have a, a good sheet left of ply. But if it's not wet, and it's not uh, damaged, why uh, mess about with it? If it's not broken, don't mess about with it. The only thing it might want is a little corner putting in down at the bottom where it has just got wet and sat at the bottom there, because it is a little bit rotted there. So I'll probably stick a repair patch in down there but as for the main wall, it was nowhere as like this one. This one is totally uh, gone, as you can see there. So, at least we found the root of the problem. So I'll probably have to come back. Well, I was hoping to get it all, f all, the f all this sort of stuff done today, but I say I haven't got the right sealer to be filling that corner up. And I wanted to come back tomorrow and get everything refitted in because Chris is here at the weekend but I think it's not going to work out like that I think what I'll probably do today is have a clear up I can't cut this straight line today because I need to get a, a chalk line or a long rule just so I can get a nice straight line so we can uh, cut down halfway down on that beam so can't do that today and it'll probably be to do this good to leave it off for a uh, a little bit just to air out and get some air around it so this won't be getting finished off this week the internal but hopefully we can come tomorrow depending on the weather and uh sort that top bit out and i say i've got work friday then and then i'm busy at the weekend so we won't be able to get back here earliest it's tuesday next week so chris would have been and gone by then so all the sheet material and the wood that i've got I'll have to try and get in here somehow. I don't know if it's going to fully fit in here. You might have to have the door open a little bit for the, the studio, but that won't do that one because if we've got the door open a little bit, it, it'll air out then and dry out nicely. I've had this window open all morning just to get a bit of fresh air in as well. But I'll probably take all these polystyrene bits out just so it gets the air circulating right around that. And... Uh, We'll get rid of all this crap wood. I'll have to pile that up nicely outside. Then we'll have to take that down the tip, do a tip run uh, to get rid of that. So let me have a bit of a clear up and I'll come back to you and then we'll see what we're gonna be finishing off with today. See you in a minute. All right guys, I've emptied the room now. So I'm just gonna pull this carpet back for now. This carpet will be going eventually because uh, it's just knackered. And you have to bear with us with the sound because we've got the um, RAF planes flying over the Typhoon's Eurofighters. So as you can see, that's where we've spread to. And that bit there, that's where Chris normally sits on his chair. So it wouldn't have been long before he goes through, which would have been a, made a nice video. Right folks, as you can see, we've got a, quite a bit of progress done now. So I've chopped along here and I've run halfway down that beam. Well, it's not quite a half. I've literally left a good three quarters of this board sitting on the beam. So I've only got a quarter there, but what I'm gonna do is along this beam here, I'm gonna screw a batten in there to give me a good fixing. I didn't wanna take too much meat off of this and leave this with a bit of flex in it. So this has still got a good amount left on the beam. And I say, I will just, uh, 
put a new batten screwed into that beam. I've still got a little bit to cut out here. And what I'll do is I'll just square that off around here. So I've just left that bit for now, just cause uh, I've run out of battery on the old uh, multi-tool. I managed to get a nice clean edge. I've just had a hoover around, getting all the debris out and all that. That's uh, the actual chassis of the caravan. That's not wood that, that's actually uh, metal that. So I've cleaned that off. I'll give it a bit of a brush down and a hoover. I've hoovered it, putting all these joists here. And uh, I say that it's wet that, so this is going to be left open now for a good week. So Chris will be here at the weekend for uh, four or five days. So we'll have a good lot of heat going around in the van. So hopefully this will dry out nicely. It's drying out now very, very well. I'll be here tomorrow, hopefully weather permitted, and I'll get that addressed outside. And if we do come and do that, I will pick up the camera and just show you what we're doing. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. That beam is solid. Although it does look a bit brown there, it's actually... Uh, solid beam that so and i will put another button along there just so i haven't got to dig out under that wall there i've cut all the cut it flush to the wall but i don't want to start disturbing that sheet in there so we'll put another button there and that will give us support to put our new board down and i probably might put a few little cross members in here as well just for extra um support so there's not a lot of flex in this so yeah it's come along uh, got a lot done today but what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to uh, chuck this carpet back over that hole just to keep any drafts not that there's any drafts in or any uh, rodents or nothing but there doesn't seem to be any sign of any rodents down there it's uh, all clean and clear down there because it has got a skirt around the bottom of this caravan so what I'll be doing is I'm just going to be chucking that just back over there like that Nothing special. Just throw it up. Just like that. And that'll just stay like that there. And that'll just cover it up from the elements. Hopefully Chris don't come walking in here. Because otherwise he'll be going downstairs. So that's going to be it for this uh, little episode. That's uh, part one of the caravan. And that is literally ripping out all the bad stuff getting it ready for the, the good stuff coming in. So I'm going to just clear up now in the caravan because I've got wooden tools everywhere. Clear up, just put everything in here and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow coming to fix that. Right, so it's the next morning now and what we're going to be doing this morning is just ripping all this old tape off here and uh, taking it back. We're going to do both corners. Eventually we will do the whole roof of the van but for just for now, with the purpose of this, we're just doing this corner to stop this leak from uh, coming into the van. And it's all wet up there, look. So what I'm gonna do is I've got myself my drill there with the wire brush attachment. I'm gonna give this a good right old clean up. And look, I don't know if you can see under there. That's pulled up there, that corner. I'm gonna get on now, just give that a clean up. Once it's cleaned up, I'll bring you back and show you what we got. Right, so as you can see, I've put some uh, tiger seal all the way around that joint. I've packed it around that corner fold there as well and going around the corner there. So I've had a bit of camera trouble, so I'm not sure what you have seen. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the flashing tape and uh, we're gonna go ahead and stick our flashing tape on. Seeing we have cleaned all this surface, top and bottom, and in the guttering. And I'll say at a later date, when the weather picks up a bit, we're gonna come and replace all of this. As you can see, I've done the lead flashing now. Uh, I actually heated the metal up first with the uh, old blowtorch, get any moisture out of it. And I've laid this down, and I also just put a bit of heat around the edges just to smooth it so it got a good seal and stuck down. And it just spread it out the edge, just a bit like um, tar did. So I know we've definitely got a good fix there. And I've also put another bead of tiger seal along there. So you might say it's a bit overkill, but we definitely don't want no water coming back here on these corners again so yeah i'm really happy with that we'll leave that now for a week and uh, we'll come back to that we'll get a load of water running down there and then we'll come back and look see if we get any wet inside but hopefully we've definitely cured that issue now so let's just go inside have a look and then we'll finish this video off all right so we're back in the van now as you can see i've just plodded them holes up as well there's a few down there 
and there's a couple down at the bottom there with screws in so I think them screws are just holding the gutter into the van so I've just put a bit of a uh, sealant around the screws anyway just to protect them yeah that's going to get left now for a few days probably about a week left to dry out we'll come back we'll get a load of water on the roof but the way that's finished off I don't think that's going to leak if water comes in it's definitely not coming from there now so we're going to leave it here for this video so I'm not too sure what you have seen because I say the camera's playing up and we're losing a bit of footage all I'm getting is the audio and a frozen picture I'll probably be looking at getting another camera now and uh, hopefully we can move forward and get over this little issue so until next time for part two we'll see you next week and until then we'll see you about